everybody, welcome to the live cast. So glad you're here. Thanks for telling your friends about it. It's a big day. Number one, it's the end of ramen week, and I got something to make that neither Max nor Lynn knows. Mm. And we've got an ass load of MasterChef stuff to talk about because, yeah. of course, last night was the premiere of MasterChef, as Lynn likes to say. Put yourself on the screen, dude. Only on Fox. Only well, on Fox. You have got the Fox like needle in your arm you're spewing all of the freaking propaganda are you not yeah well you know fox does own the show so yeah but if you don't say only on fox they can't do anything to you now <laughs> no not not quite all right enough about you right now it's about the ramen so there's two things that are going to happen i have to cook some ramen and then i have to wait i forgot what i was doing and then i have to make the the thing that's going to be i don't know if i want to give it away yet should I give it away? I don't know what you're making. Nobody knows what I'm making. I really, this just came and it's an idea and I think it's gonna work. So here's what we're doing. You know what shepherd's pie is, right? Yes. yes. Shepherd's pie has what as its topping? Oh, I have no idea, a crust? Yeah, so what? Lynn? Puff pastry? Fucking, what master chef? <laughs> I don't know, I don't shepherd's make shepherd's pie. Shepherd's pie, potato. Oh. On top of it. Oh, that's right. It's as like a crust. Potato. Yes. Wow. Hard to believe. You made it into that competition and you don't know what shepherd's pie is. Yeah, I don't know, Jack, man. And don't play the Asian card because I'm not going to buy it. My family never made it when I was growing up. Is that what you're going to say? Yeah, but they didn't. Well, still. Like, they really... I, I didn't even know what shepherd pie was until I got the college problem. Okay, number one, it's shepherd's pie. There's an S on the end of it. Number two, I can't believe that you made it. I am making fun of your accent. <laughs> I can't believe that you made it all the way to getting an apron on MasterChef and don't know what that is. Oh my God, look at Haley right it's now. It's a little bit sad. Haley's having a moment over there. Okay, so onions go in the pan. Lucky you can eat that, but it's onion paper and you won't like it. Oh. Okay, at the same time, I want to do some carrot. Um... Look at those knife skills. No, these are not, no, these are not knife skills. It's just a little tall. If I did this, ugh, now I've effed it up. Who cares? Okay, I'm just throwing some carrot in, and really it should have gone in there first because, because it's gonna color. take longer than that stupid onion that I put in. Why am I not thinking? Now I just gotta get some in. I think you're gonna like this though. I haven't given it away yet. All you know is that shepherd's pie is something that American families make, Lynn, that's right? Uh, wait, is it? I <laughs> thought it was like Irish or something. Can we see you? I'd love to see you. When you talk in there in your you little know, dark it, hole by yourself. It's weird to switch to yourself when you I talk. understand. He's I working. Understand. Well look, dude, you're in the media now, so. I know, it's crazy. I'm on TV. Okay, so. The water's boiling for clearly the ramen. The carrots and the onions are cooking here. I gotta get them happening. Uh, I could do the ramen now. Okay, let me find my ramen. I'm really excited about this, really excited. Do you want me to, uh-oh, my light. <laughs> do you want me to tell you what we're making? Yes. So we're not making shepherd's pie, even though you now know what it is. Both of you boys. It's topped with potatoes, I know that. It's topped with potatoes. We're, look at that, didn't even open. We're making a chicken curry with ramen as its crispy topping. Are you serious? Oh. Boom, bitch, it's gonna be amazing. So boiling water and the ramen goes in by itself. A couple of minutes, if somebody can remember to tell me when a couple of minutes is up, I'd be <laughs> real thankful. I'll do my best. Thank you. All right, so we got onion. Softening nicely. I've got this little ramen guy going here. I gotta start thinking about this curry. So here's what we're gonna do for the curry. We're gonna do this. We're gonna make a, uh, a little uh, roux. Do you know what a roux is? No. Master Chef, do you want to tell everybody? A roux is a mixture of flour and fat. And flour and fat. Oh, as a gosh. thickener for something. As a thickener, right. So we're going to use, uh, it's about a tablespoon of flour. 
we're going to use an equal amount of, oh crap, oh I got it, of curry powder. Curry powder, right? Nice. And then you need some fat, and the fat we're going to use, I'll throw some butter in here for some flavor, right? So now we met, met, let this do its thing with a, with a spoon. And you see what you get? You get this dry paste thing going on here. Smells curry. Yeah, it does. Smells nice. This is a really simple, very quick, dirty little version of this. I don't need to say dirty. But no, don't say dirty. It's but it's going to be good. The noodles are... Noodles are basically ready. I can stop those and drain those in a second. Okay, Maxi, back up. Careful of the lights. Here's what I'm getting. I'm getting not olives. What the hell is here? Coconut milk. Coconut milk. And so now the coconut milk is going to go in. We've done a similar thing, I think, uh, before, but we haven't turned it into anything like this. Ah, oh, crap. I lost it. Okay. Coconut milk. Oh, wow. Dang. Dang is right. I'm making a mess. Okay, so you see what's happening here, how nice this is? And that's going to thicken really, really nicely. And now it needs something. Did I say we're making chicken curry? Yeah, oh, yeah. I think so. Okay, we are. Back up, Maxie. One sec. Okay. Sorry. It's a bit of a dance that these boys have to go through between changing shots and, and uh, getting the right things up on the screen. So here we go. We can turn this down. So now this was a deli roasted chicken earlier today that I'm just going to shred up into smaller sort of bite-sized-ish pizzas. And you know, for those that don't watch the show on a regular, we use chicken, deli roasted chicken, almost all the time. Yeah, here. thank it's you. It's such a handy thing to have in the kitchen. Hey, did you have to make cook like your own whole chicken at MasterChef? No, at all. That takes that takes too long. Oh but yeah, you. Uh, we'll talk about that. Don't. Yeah. Sh 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 okay, okay, okay. See, it's now it's getting almost too thick. Wow. Now I need some more of this. See, it happens really fast. A little more coconut milk. That's nice. More coconut milk in here. I love that coconut milk. I need a little bit of heat, so I'm going to use, uh, well, really, I guess I could use anything, red pepper flakes, I could use even sriracha would nice, be nice in here. Nice rack there. Thank you. That's what she said. That's what he said to her. <laughs> okay, red pepper flakes, in like that, wipe my hands off, get a towel, do this. There's no salt or pepper in this yet, and everything has to have salt and pepper. Because if it doesn't, it's not going to have any flavor. It for sure has to have salt. I mean, I got pepper, red pepper in here, but I really do like, I really like the flavor of black pepper. Okay, so see what we've got? This is perfect. It's, it's very stew-like. Okay, the noodles can drain. I'm excited. I'm really excited for this. The noodles are draining right there. And now here's what we're going to do. We're going to get a... So sorry. <laughs> I hate it with all that noise. We're going to put all this in here. Cast iron pan. Yep. One of my favorite things I own. Honestly. Everybody should have one. Everybody should have one. Okay, so this will go in here. Please tell me it's going to be the right amount. Wow, it's like I've done this before. Whoa. <laughs> and everybody knows I haven't done this before. I'd say a solid 30, 40% of what I make here, I've never made before. All right, so the noodles, I'm just going to throw them in here. I'm going to toss them just with a tiny little bit of oil. And I want some seasoning on them. What should I use? I want, oh, that's not hot. Um, let's see what we've got. Here's the deal. Uh, when you cook, and there's sort of layers of stuff, everything should have some amount of seasoning to it. You want the individual bites that people get. If they just taste the topping, you want the topping to taste good. You don't want it just to taste like plain, boring noodles. So we'll give it a little bit of the curry powder to keep the theme going. A little salt, a little pepper here. 
And now this. And now on top. That is, that is bananas. I almost should have made two packs of this stuff. Oh no, we're gonna be okay. We're gonna be beautiful. And like uh, shepherd's pie that you might have one day, Lynn, I'll make it for you. Okay. Uh, everything doesn't have to be covered up perfectly. We just want it to be nice, all right? So this, now my oven's at like uh, 350. I'll throw it in. I don't know what it's gonna do, so I'm gonna give it, we'll give it 10 minutes or so. I might need to throw the broiler on at the end, but I'm ready to sit down. Everybody to the table, let's go. So the, um, the curry chicken ramen casserole or whatever we're going to call it is in the <laughs> oven. Um, I just took a couple seconds to, to clean up a little bit and I, I checked the top and I want it crispy and it's not crispy. So we'll give it five minutes or so. I think I'm going to have to put the broiler on and then we'll, because I want that textural difference. Because that's important it's, a, it's incredibly important, the crispy, crunchy top. It is. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, it'd just be mushy ramen. Yeah. Uh, it, otherwise, it would be mushy ramen. But I'm imagining the top of the ramen's crunchy. The, the underneath part is going to be soft. And I think it's going to be all good, but we'll find out. So a couple of email uh, comments recently. Uh, let's see. Yun Fang says, I'm not sure what she's referring to, but she goes, I'm still watching this show because Max and Lynn are awesome. Oh. What do you really? Mean? Wait, what? They're watching because they like I'm us. I'm still watching <laughs> because Max and Lynn are awesome. Kelly's funny too. Mm. Huh? I, I like that. Oh, yeah. Uh, Ray Wilgaroth from somewhere in Texas. Mm -hmm. I don't know exactly where writes. And then I'm going to show you a picture of this. You're going to have to turn your presenter on. Oh, mother F. That's what oh happens when you hide God, things from us. Exactly. So, so before well, the show, Sam tries to hide what's on his computer I, by I, not... I don't, well, I don't need you to see exactly what we're showing talking us. about. Because I know that you try and see everything. Well, we just won't, we'll, you know, be honest and we won't switch to your computer back here. So we won't preview. You won't be honest. Whatever. Ray Wilgaroth from somewhere in Texas says, Grilled ramen with beef and asparagus. Thanks for the idea, buddy. Take a look at his presentation work there. I'd say that Ray did a really nice, nice job. Whoa. Uh, dude, I even appreciate the uh, plate. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's a great plate. And look, plate. At, you can see up here, like, some nice grilling uh, color on the, on the uh, ramen. If you weren't paying no, attention to the right. first episode of Ramen Week, we cooked uh, ramen in the block in water with a little teriyaki sauce in it, not too long, and then we grilled it in the grill pan. Mm-hmm. With a little egg on top. And then we did fried egg over the top of a Japanese mayo and a little of the togarashi. Super delicious. Wait, go back to that picture on your computer. I yeah. know why you love it so much. Why? Green onion. I know. I know you're going <laughs> to say that. <laughs> nice job. Nice presentation. And I would argue, I, I think that the asparagus look like they're grilled too, right? Yeah. Yeah, they do. That's a they great dinner. Color. That's a great dinner. Mm -hmm. I love what he did with it. I love what he did with it. Absolutely. Uh, let's see a couple other comments. Then we'll get to master chef. James uh, Swart says just finished my three and a half mile run on the treadmill watching the ramen episodes. Thanks guys. I love the discussion between Sam and Max. Max, let him open the darn packages. Ah, <laughs> uh, that is part of the fun watching the show. It's not scripted. Keep up the great work. True. I'm only reading uh, viewers comments, Max. Hey, yeah. I expect it. It's fine. And then leading us into uh, uh, MasterChef comments, Mert Cox writes, how exciting, Lynn. Congrats. Your dish looked great. No, did I miss the dish? No, I, have a, I actually have a screen grab of it. What? Oh, did you put it up and that's how they saw? I, I, well, yeah, I, I did that Because too, it wasn't also, on the show. It was. What? It, it flashes by really fast. Though. I have a oh, you just wouldn't it. know oh. that it's him. There you go. Yeah. It's like right before they show me on the show. So they this showed is it, that. and then the next screen is this. Me right. getting my apron. Ooh. So they put a little sequence in of Lynn. And then me running out. I me. wanted more of you, of course. And there's Stacey. my lovely Look fiance's. Look how cute she No, wait a second. Wait, by the way, let me just finish Mert's comment. The show has a bit too much drama for me. Oh, really, Mert? You think there's too much drama in uh, MasterChef? That's the MasterChef's middle name is drama. Oh, my God. No, it's a reality show. All the reality <laughs> shows are. Can they build that S up any more? Could they? No, well, yeah, actually they can, but I wouldn't encourage it, man. <sighs> I'm just telling you, they they go out and every year, I'm sure, 
I don't know this, but yeah. for sure, for a fact, but I'm sure they go out and try to find the very best stories they can. I mean, last year's winner was Christine. She was blind. She she's was amazing, blind. but you know, wait, is she really blind? She's really blind. Okay, I met her. She's she's really blind. I can't say. I don't want to get crap from anybody, but I don't know. I mean, look it. They build things up more than they really are. I believe. I, mean, I totally believe that. So Christine can see colors. That, that's what I'm. That's what she told me. Like you know, it's right. not like she sees nothing. But I think most people who are blind can see some sort of like blur. Really, they objects. don't just see black. Right. That well, suck. they just don't see like bright light, and you can't make out anything. She can like make out certain things. Mm -hmm. Right. But you know, it's it's cool. Like there are people on the show that we saw last. Wait, when, when was last the show? Night. Oh, Wednesday. Oh uh, yeah, Wednesday night. Wednesday. You know, with disabilities, cooking like Rudy, the guy from San Diego who right. burned the fires. So, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. hey, wait a second. Cool story. Okay, all right, all right. Enough about all the emotional stuff. I have some questions here. Mm -hmm. uh, number one, how many people were you allowed to bring with you? I just answer that. To are you to clarify? You're talking about you bring people in there like up in the stands. Yeah, they were home. there when when you, when you came out. After presenting your dish, you either got an apron or you didn't. Mm -hmm. How many people were you allowed to bring with you? I had space on the form to fill out four. Oh, that chick, one chick had 11. But then one and I know that was 11. BS. Yeah. And then they do this. Here's the thing. I know the shit's scripted. I'm not knocking your show. Uh -huh. But that the thing that kills me is they're like, oh, blah, 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 blah. Oh, uh, who are you with? Oh, go get them. Like they didn't know she had 11 people with her. Like that shit wasn't set up. Come I on, think, come on. You know, some of the stuff on the show, I know for a fact, is it's basically the producers playing off what actually happens in real life. And she very well could have brought 11 supporters on her own will. Like, hey, can I invite these people, these people, these people? <laughs> so, uh, I mean, you never know. The first chick that got an apron. Yes. From San Diego. Uh-huh. Natasha. Yes. Oh, the girl who couldn't. The chick who knows, how good who, now, who now know, now America now knows that I'm not just hot, but I can cook. <laughs> That's is that really her, Lynn? Is that really Natasha? No. What you should do is you should bring Natasha in and talk to her. Mm, okay, oh, my wait, question, no, no. here's question my question. Is, do they tell her to no, say no, 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 I'm hot I don't and know. I can cook? I don't, think they, I don't think they say you say you're hot. But are they in the background going, you know, you're a pretty girl. You should talk about that a little bit more. It'd be it would be interesting. It'd be fun to hear you say people don't think you can cook because you're cute. Well, because I wasn't, you know, the ah, pretty boy on the show, right. and they didn't tell me to say mm -hmm. that personally. Yeah. I don't know, but also I do know that I I was hardly coached at all. It's a, a lot of it's very very real. I mean, here's the thing: wow. it's scripted. Reality is scripted. We, we'll we'll put it that way, right? There's right. certain parts that are scripted that have to go according to plan, but. Whatever they do, they keep you in the dark. So you are as basically as real as it gets. Okay. I didn't see that. Like, I didn't get that impression at all when I heard the girl talking about being good looking and also yeah. being able to cook. I just looked at that like, that's something that she's obviously wants to convey. Like, I'm good looking. I mean, it's just... I, I feel like I don't know how many people talk that way. No, are, that, so That's you're the, in the, what you're saying is that the, they're trying to push you into being kind of narcissistic. It's exactly and what I think. Well, but I don't know that, that they're pushing you to be narcissistic. If they, if they but, told Lynn to go out and talk about how tall he is, why, Lynn would probably be like, "Why would I do why? that? Yeah. Like, what does that have to do with anything? That's just going to make me seem like kind so, of like so." So okay, so then how many women do you think would stand there in front of America and the millions of people watching? And how many? I don't know how many millions of people watch, but it depends. But if, but. How many women are going to stand there and on their own go, you know, the problem I have is that I'm really pretty and people think that Whoa, I can't. Okay. You, so have, you obviously don't have a lot of experience with <laughs> girls in our generation that are very conceited. And uh, here's, here's the thing. I, I, I know Natasha personally. Yeah. I've never really gotten the vibe that she's, you know, terribly conceited mm -hmm. in person. Which makes my point even more. So what I'm saying is maybe, and this is what we were talking about, it's just the context of the comment and they edited it like that. And... I'm only saying that because I'm expecting one or two times during the during, like the show maybe next maybe next episode right, um, that I'm that if they quote something from me I'd be like I don't remember saying that at all mm -hmm. and it might be totally out of context you never know but for the most part I thought they were pretty genuine to most people and I think you, they did you know what job. I would say this though for at least for Natasha mm -hmm. those words came out of her mouth it's mm -hmm. not like she said in another sentence. 
uh, somebody said, do you think you're pretty? And she went, oh, I think I'm pretty. And then they cut it together with, and people don't think, you know, it's I not like they fabricated. They, they didn't stitch together true. a sentence. That no. was all her. No, that's I think true. it's as simple as this. People go out there and they're like, what am I going to use? What am I, what's, what am I going to have about me that might set me apart? Or what do I have to add to my cooking abilities? And she was like, hey, I'm a cute girl. I can cook. I guess that's kind of what my shtick will be in this opening. But well, I mean, shtick, maybe, there you go. maybe now she's looking back on it like, I guess it did come off a little bit narcissistic. Well, you know what? I'm I not think saying she's like that. I'm just I gotcha. saying, well, here's the thing. talking gonna, about how good looking you are. We're going to have an opportunity to, to ask her ourselves because she'll be here one wow, day. Wow, okay. Yeah. So here's other things I wrote down. Did they really need to make all those dirty jokes about the beaver? <laughs> uh, I mean, come on. That was a, a little, you know, junior high school. It was, it was a little over the top. It was a little over there the was, top. There was a lot of innuendo in there. <laughs> a l- <sighs> there were, it was all innuendo. <laughs> it was all, it was complete innuendo. Hey, I mean, but here's the thing. Uh, look, it's American Idol with food is what it is. Yeah, I was, I was going to say. That's what that show is. It's the same format, but there's food. They start with a lot, they come down to this number, and then they slowly weed them out. That's and, what it is. And, my perception- and I'm surprised, I guess it's the way reality shows are these days, and I don't think this happened, and I only watched a bit of the first season. Mm-hmm. But I don't remember nearly the amount of F-ups and stupid people and, and women cooking with breast milk. Oh, jeez. I mean, come on. Like, they must have watched American Idol and went, oh... Well, they do well with the William Hungs of the world, so we need the culinary version of William Hung, and we got those. We got beaver tail, we got breast milk, we got the people, the, the, the fire, whatever things. I think that's definitely part of it. I also think it's that our culture has kind of been so saturated with this reality stuff that people right. know like what they need to do to get noticed. Right. Like You have a little gimmick like cooking with breast milk. That person obviously knew going into it that they were going to get a little airtime. Gordon Ramsay that. spit it out. I would have spit it on her. <laughs> and I have to believe that he knew that was coming. I believe he knew that was coming. I, mm. I don't know a whole lot about what they tell the judges, but yeah. I, my belief right now is that they probably keep the judges in the dark because if I were a producer, that would be fun. Like you're like, hey, know. judges, something's going to happen. We're not going to clue you in until it actually happens. We want to see what you actually do, how you actually react. Yeah. Mm. By the way, I watched now two hours of that uh, that thing Wednesday night, uh-huh. the uh, premiere. I still don't know who the big guy is. Graham no Al- Graham Graham idea Elliot. who Graham Elliott is. I, I only know that because I said the same thing last night to Jillian. She went, Graham Elliott, he owns restaurants and stuff, yeah. right? Graham Elliott's the youngest chef to win something. And I think it was either Michelin star or the James Beard Award. I don't know how to say this without having people think it's a terrible comment mm-hmm. and offending a big part of the... I, I, don't, I won't even say it. We had a comment about him last night. I won't even say it. Never mind. Wow. I'll, just, I'll just piss people off. All right, moving on. <laughs> hey, don't, don't rag on Graham. Graham's a really good guy. Uh, you know what? I, I believe he is. Um, and I like Gordon Elliott in this. And Joe Bostianich clearly, clearly... When he was auditioned for this, they said, you're going to be the douche. Because that's the role that he's taken. Did you say Gordon Elliott? No, I said uh, Joe Bastianich. Oh, oh, before, th- okay, yeah. Did I say, did I call... Uh, I thought you said you like Graham, and then you said Gord- I like, like Gordon Elliott. Then I didn't mean Joe Gordon Elliott, I meant Gordon Ramsay. Yeah. But Joe Bastianich, clearly, they're filling roles, Right. Graham Elliott's the middle of the road. Gordon's one. And then uh, Joe Bastianich is the asshole. And that's how American Idol's formula worked for it's years. It's how it works. So it's, it's formulaic television. I get it. But. And you know, know, the next time someone comes up with a formula that works, it's going to be copied to death until. Of course mm. it is. It is. You know what? It's no, you know, it's like there's a, I don't know. I, but I, I'm watching. I, I, I'm I was watching for you, my friend. I want more of you because there wasn't enough of you last night. Oh, I know. I had a theory. Here's my theory. What's your theory about this? When we spoke about your audition, uh, not your audition, but your, your, the things that they showed last night. Yes. You wouldn't tell me anything mm-hmm. except to say it was an incredible moment. It was. Okay. Wait. Absolutely. Here's what I believe. I believe they said something to you, and you can tell me if I'm wrong, like it was the best thing they've eaten, best thing they've seen plated, best presentation, best whatever. Because you went flying through that gate 
super amped up and excited. Oh, yeah. I mean, and I fully expected to see a whole package done on the 6'5 Asian kid from <laughs> San Diego. Oh. And I notice? believe, I believed that that was the plan until the dude who so f- doesn't have any family left anymore showed up. Oh, you're talking about Jordan, the guy that cried? The guy that cried. Oh, yeah. And then I think that just took any other story and kind of wiped it away. It, Am I you, right? The thing is, you can't follow that up. If I would have been you after him, r- how would you follow that up? E- exactly. So tell me what they said to you. Now you can tell us. So... From what I remember, because it was all a blur, I went in there and I, I cooked pretty well. And when I finished my dish, they said it was probably the best like single audition dish they've ever tasted. Oh. I knew it. I knew that. I oh, knew yeah. it. Yeah. And that was what I was expecting to hear those bastards say last night. And we didn't hear it because the dude cried. So anybody that's thinking about auditioning for that show and you get to the 100 people part of it, cry. Cry. <laughs> And if you have relatives that are no longer part of your family, mention everything. Mention anything you can to get yourself to cry. <laughs> I'm not taking anything away from him. I'm making a joke, of course. But yes, yes, they're looking for they're looking for drama. I was I was my heart was beating way too fast to even think about crying, man. I mm, was. I well, bet. So that, okay, it's 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 a scary experience. Like you know when you walk through those double doors and you're by yourself. Like there's cameramen, but they don't talk to you. Oh, they yeah. don't. No, of course not. They don't whisper. They don't make a noise. They're like quiet as a mouse. That you can hear a pin drop on the floor, but there's about, I'm going to guess there's there's a ton of people behind the scenes. Like, you can't see anything. The lights are all dark. Oh, okay. It pretty much looks exactly what the TV show looks like, which is, for me, yep. like a technical standpoint, amazing. Yep. Yep. There was very little visual, um, like, green screening they probably even did with the film. They probably It, it looks good. Does it look cheesy up close? No, and that's the thing. Their sets were incredibly deep. Props to whoever did the sets, because yeah. the sets are incredibly deep. The detailed. place looks great. The place looks great. There's no yeah. question about it. I can't wait to see I can't wait to see more of you. I want more Lynn. Of course. And so before we move on to yeah. what we have in the oven, um, yeah. we're gonna save a lot of this Master Chef stuff for obviously for Monday. the next show and the next Hey, by the way, can I say next week is, is veggie week? Oh, Really? Vegetable yes. week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, nice. people have been wanting you to do that for a while, man. Well, you know what? Here's what prompted it is I put a picture. You might be able to find it. See if you can find it on... Ah, shoot. Is it on my Facebook? Instagram. Can or my Instagram. Is? Yes. Follow, follow him at the cooking guy. That's his tw- at the cooking uh, Instagram guy. handle. It's the, uh, it's the piece of... The single piece of cauliflower. A single piece of cauliflower. Single there piece of cauliflower. Oh. Got it. My gosh. This is my favorite thing to make. Right. So I don't know how you make yours. I know how I make mine. And a bunch of people said, where's the recipe? Blah, blah, blah. Uh, and I went, uh, okay, well, let's do, let's do, so Monday that. We're doing roasted cauliflower. Are you serious? Roasted cauliflower. It's Monday. like probably my single favorite vegetable dish. I love is it. Roasted I love it. It's so much better. I like cauliflower uh, like that. Or I like it pureed. We did that here once, right? Mm-hmm. Did we do a cauliflower puree? Maybe we didn't. Maybe no, we no, we that. never did. Maybe we could do that. We should. It's awesome. Yeah. Okay. Last thing before I jump into here and I get the thing out of the uh, deal. Mm-hmm. Only Lynn can answer this question. I think. <laughs> Let's hear it. Lynn. Yes. What's up with Roku? People are asking. I get the shit beat out of me every day. And let me explain what oh. happened. When we started on Roku, we had some guys that were in charge of getting the thing the episodes up for us true and they were they were there was 30 of them at a time am i right can we just explain exactly yes. what's going on right now so Please, go ahead. this is the the weird triangle there's roku up top and then there's us down here with the guys that used to update our channel and so what we're doing is we have to talk to each other the guys that are updating channel me and the people that we hired or not hired asked to do this right yeah. And then we all have to communicate with Roku when it's done. Yeah. And then on top of that, it has to be tested. So it has to, like, we have to watch it on a Roku at home to make sure that the channel is working properly when it gets transferred over. All right, yeah. let me just have a quick quick explanation. We are in the process of of, of taking control of it, and everything's going to be fine. I know you guys have been waiting for a I little just, while. I just want to know when. Somebody tell me There's when. Not, we're all super busy. Lynn has to do this now, and he's got a full-time job now. Okay, that I understand. Started, so, so if we have to farm it out, we have to farm it out. But we can't go much longer... People have, you know how old the shit is that's up there? Yeah. Yeah. People, we're going to lose March. people. If we haven't started losing people, mm-hmm. we're going to lose people because they don't want to just see the same stupid three, 30 episodes. They're got tired it. of that. They no, want all the new ones. We And I think what we got to do is we got to make sure that when the ball's in someone's court, yeah, we got to, you know, we got to execute. And that's really it. So we'll, we'll work, we're working on that hard, I think. So the answer is nobody has any idea. No, I don't think that's true. You have to deal with other people. 
that's just the reality of the how we started and right now what we're trying to do. <sighs> hey, I mean, getting it to our hands is going to prevent this problem in the future. That's why I see it. Okay. Well, we're getting there. Still, right, nobody has we, any idea. Should we go ahead? Sit here it. silently. Just, <laughs> yes, we should sit here and all just okay. think about Roku. Just mourn, <laughs> mourn Roku. Yeah. <laughs> and um, by the way, uh, James Swart will be happy that we're having a conversation like this. I don't even think he likes Ro- uses Roku, but he likes it when we argue. Apparently. Oh, good. Okay. James. All right, let's hop in the kitchen. Okay, let's go. <laughs> All right, so here's what it looks like. Oh, it's hot, and the top started to burn a little bit. Wait, I don't want to kill myself here. <laughs> oh, look. Ooh. Nice, look at that. Wow. Hello there. That looks good, hello there. Hello, sweetheart, how are you? I dig it. Let's get the little spoon thing. That looks awesome. What shall I have this in? I'll have it on this. Don't burn yourself, dude. That looks hot. Oh, it does look hot. Oh, hear that? Oh, yeah. That's what I wanted. Oh, the curry smells amazing. Oh, the curry is so good. (laughs) It's like upside down dinner. The noodles are on top. It's like an upside down dinner. (laughs) There it is. You know what it needs? What's it need, Max? Green onion? You know, nope. You're close, green something. Green? A little cilantro. Just a little baby bit of cilantro because it'll add a little color, but cilantro and coconut and curry, it's like a match made in food heaven. Mm. And then it needs a fork, man. So we can try this. I want some of the crunch here. I'll go this side. Some crunchy noodle. Oh my God, I just like salivated. I can't (laughs) even wait. It smells so good back here. The whole house smells amazing. Steamy, gorgeous, beautiful. Mm -mm. Oh man, listen to that crunch. Oh shit. Oh my God. Oh my God, it's so damn good. I mean, curry just in the first place is delicious. But now there's a whole other textural layer on top of the whole thing. And I was right, because the noodles underneath that top layer are still kind of soft. That is a, that is a late night dream right there. You come home from a party and you had terrible food or you've been out drinking, that's perfect drinking food. Oh my God. All right, thanks for hanging out. Ramen week, I love it. Next week is vegetables, we're roasting cauliflower. It's one of the best things on the planet. You've heard Master Chef in there say, by the way, when I call him Master Chef, put yourself on the screen, dude. By the way, when I call you Master Chef, yes. just don't want people thinking that I believe that you've won the whole competition. It's just my name for you, correct? I feel like if I get an apron, I can be called the Master Chef. There you go. Okay, everybody understands? Understood. Okay, get off the screen. <laughs> All right. See you guys Monday. We're roasting cauliflower. It's going to be a great veggie week. Thanks for hanging out with us. Tell your friends. Go to the live cast site. Share it. Blah, blah, blah. Do whatever you have to do. We love that you're here. See ya.